Before we proceed on our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. At the end of this video, you should be able to illustrate theorems on angles formed by tangents and seconds. Illustrate theorems on second segments, tangent segments, and external second segments. Solve problems using theorems on tangent, second, and segment. Let's get started. First, let's have a quick review on the different types of tangent on a circle. In the given circle U, which is an example of a tangent line. That is right, the tangent line is the red line which is the line Vx. How about the tangent segment? Correct, that is the segment RT. How about the tangent ray? And that is the ray YZ. Next in line are the lines and arcs related to second. So we have second line and that is line RT. Also, we have the second segment, segment RO. We can say that our external second segment are segment RP and segment RS. In the given illustration, the point of intersection is outside the circle and that is point R. Also, we have the intercepted arcs arc OT and arc PS. We can now proceed on the different theorems on angles formed by tangents and seconds. Are you ready? Okay then, let's begin. Theorem number 1, second second angle theorem. This composed of two cases. For the case 1, if two seconds intersect in the exterior of a circle. Circle A is an example of case 1, wherein the second line KJ and line KL intersect at point K outside the circle. For the case 2, if two seconds intersect in the interior of a circle. Circle B is an example of case 2, wherein the line MP and the line ON intersect at point X, which is inside the circle. Case 1. If two seconds intersect in the exterior of a circle, in a circle A, the point of intersection is outside the circle, which is the point K. Then, the measure of the angled form is the difference of its intercepted arc. In the given circle A, the angled form is angle JKL, and the intercepted arcs are arc JL and arc FH. So we have angle JKL is equal to one half of arc JL minus arc FH. Given for example, if the measurement of arc JL is 140 degrees and arc FH is 20 degrees, then we can easily solve the measurement of angle JKL by substitution. So we have angle JKL is equal to one half of 140 degrees minus 20 degrees. 140 degrees minus 20 degrees is equal to 120 degrees and one half of 120 degrees is equal to 60 degrees therefore the angle jkl is equal to 60 degrees case number two if two seconds intersect in the interior of a circle in circle b the point of intersection is inside the circle and that is point x then, the measure of the angled form is the sum of its intercepted arcs. Given, for example, in circle B, the angle form is angle MXO. Therefore, the intercepted arcs 
are ArcMO and ArcNP. So based on the theorem, we have angle MXO is equal to one half of ArcMO plus ArcNP. Let's have an example. If the measurement of ArcMO is 150 degrees and ArcNP is equal to 10 degrees, then we can easily find the measurement of angle MXO. By substitution, we have angle MXO is equal to one half of 150 degrees plus 10 degrees. Since arc MO is 150 and arc NP is 10 degrees, 150 plus 10 is equal to 160 degrees. And one half of 160 degrees is equal to 80 degrees. Therefore, the angle MXO is equal to 80 degrees. The next theorem is the tangent-tangent angle theorem. This states that if two tangents intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is the difference of its intercepted arcs. In the given circle C, the two tangent lines are lines RS and line TS, where it intersects at point S outside the circle. The angle form is angle RST and the intercepted arcs are arc RAT and arc RT. Then we can say that the angle RST is equal to one half of the arc RAT minus arc RT. Let's have an example. If the measurement of arc RAT is 225 degrees and the arc RT is 135 degrees, then we can solve the measure of the angle RST. By substitution, we have angle RST is equal to one half of 225 degrees minus 135 degrees. Since arc RAT is equal to 225 degrees, and arc RT is 135 degrees. 225 minus 135 will give us 90 degrees. And one half of 90 degrees is 45 degrees. Therefore, the angle RST is equal to 45 degrees. The last theorem on angles formed by tangents and seconds is the tangent second angle theorem. This theorem composed of two cases. Case 1. If the tangent and second intersect in the exterior of a circle. Circle E is an example of this case, wherein the tangent line UV intersect the second line XV at point V outside the circle. Case 2. If the tangent and second intersect at the point of tangent C. Circle D is an example of this case, wherein the tangent line Z intersect the second line YZ at point Z, which is the point of tangent C. For the first case, if the tangent and second intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is the difference of its intercepted arcs. In the given circle E, the angled form is angle UVX and the intercepted arcs are arc UX and arc UW. So we have angle UVX is equal to one half of arc UX minus arc UW. Let's have an example. If the measurement of arc UX is 180 degrees and arc UW is equal to 38 degrees, then we can easily solve the measurement of angle UVX. By substitution, we have angle UVX is equal to one half of 180 degrees, which is the measurement of arc UX minus 38 degrees, which is the measurement of arc UW. 180 minus 38 is equal to 142 degrees. 
and one half of 142 degrees is 71 degrees. That's why the angle UVX is equal to 71 degrees. Let's proceed to case number 2. If the tangent and second intersect at the point of tangent C, then the measure of each angled form is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. Given for example the circle D, the two angles formed are angle YZA and angle YZB. The intercepted arc of angle YZA is arc YXZ and the intercepted arc of angle YZB is arc YZ. So based on the theorem, we have angle YZA is equal to one half of arc YXZ. Let's have an example. If the measurement of arc YXZ is 260 degrees, then we can easily solve the value of angle YZA. By substitution, we have angle YZA is equal to one half of 260 degrees because the value of arc YXZ is 260 degrees. One half of 260 degrees is 130 degrees, and that is the angle YZA. To solve for the angle YZB, we can say that the angle YZA plus the angle YZB is equal to 180 degrees. Since angle AZB is a straight line and that is 180 degrees. So to find the value of angle YZB, we can transpose angle YZA to the right side of the equation, which will become negative. Then by substitution, we have 180 degrees minus 130 degrees because angle YZA is 130 degrees. And 180 minus 130 will give us 50 degrees. That's why the measurement of angle YZB is equal to 50 degrees. Let's proceed to another theorem. The theorem on second segment and external second segment. This theorem states that if two second segments are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, then the product of the lengths of one second segment and its external second segment is equal to the product of the length of the other second segment and its external second segment. Given for example, we have the circle A. Let us determine the different lines related to circle A. What are the second segment of circle A? You are right! The segment ET and the segment HT are both second segment. How about the external second segment? That is correct. Our external second segments are segment ST and segment KT. Based on the theorem, we can say that the segment ET, which is a second segment, multiplied by its external second segment ST is equal to the second segment HT multiplied by its external second segment KT. Let's have an example. What is the measurement of segment ET? If the measurement of segment ST is 4 cm, segment KT is 5 cm, and segment HT is 10 cm. By substitution, we have segment ET times 4 cm is equal to 10 cm times 5 cm. Since segment ST is 4 cm, segment HT is 10 cm, and segment KT is 5 cm. 10 times 5 is equal to 50 cm. Divide both sides by 4 to cancel 4 on the left side of the equation. So, we have segment ET is equal to 12.5 cm since 50 divided by 4 is equal to 12.5. Finally, we can have our last theorem on this video. 
the theorem on tangent segment, second segment, and external second segment. This theorem states that if a tangent segment and a second segment are drawn to a circle from an exterior point, then the square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the length of the second segment and its external second segment. Given, for example, we have the circle B. Let us determine the different lines related to circle B, which is an example of a tangent segment. You were right! That is the segment LO. How about the second segment? Correct, that is the segment EO. Lastly, what is the external second segment? That's correct. We have the segment VO. So based on the theorem, we can say that segment LO squared is equal to segment EO times segment VO, wherein the segment LO is the tangent segment, the segment EO is the second segment, and segment VO is the external second segment. Let's have an example. What is the measurement of segment LO if segment EO is 12 cm and segment VO is 3 cm? Based on the theorem, we can substitute the given values. So we have segment LO squared is equal to 12 cm times 3 cm. Since segment EO is 12 cm and segment VO is 3 cm. 12 times 3 is equal to 36. Then, square both sides of the equation. So we have segment LO is equal to 6 cm since the square root of 36 is equal to 6. 